Hello there and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about uh, how you can handle different uh, pseudo prompts on your devices. So basically it's not just for pseudo prompts but any prompts that you may would like to consider. So uh, in order to demonstrate this I have this Linux machine and basically if I issue the sudo who am I command I get back the prompt sudo password for Ansible and I would like to demonstrate you how you can overcome this problem. So let's spin up our Python instance and from invoke we need to import the responder and from fabric we need to import the connection and our C is going to be equal to connection and we will have an Ansible at CentOS A and the connect keyword arguments is going to be equal to password which is Ansible. I hope you can see this. Oh, let me just bring it a little bit more down. So now <coughs> we have this part, but uh, how do we tell Fabric that anytime we face a prompt which is asking for pseudo password to respond to that? So this is the tricky part. And in order to overcome that situation, what we need to do is to say that we have the pseudo pass variable, which is going to come from the responder. And this responder is going to say that the pattern that we are looking for is going to be a raw string. And we will say that backslash bracket sudo backslash closing bracket and we will have the password for Ansible and what we need to specify here is the response and this response is going to be Ansible as the pseudo password with the new line character so as if we had hit enter and now if we say that sudo run and we specify that we run the command sudo who am I and we say that the PTI is equal to true and the watchers which is very important so watchers allow you to specify a list of functions that are trying to parse the output to have a valid response to what the, the remote side is asking for. So this is how you can create like from the pseudo pass a watcher which will respond with a specific answer to a specific string pre present in the response from your remote machine. And we will have the pseudo pass. And now if everything goes well, we should have the root as an output from our run command. And as you can see, we have it here. Now uh, we may sometimes want to capture the output. So result is equal to the same thing that we have just invoked. And if we issued dear result, we will see that uh, we have the exited, the failed, the hide, the OK, the PTY, the return code, the shell, the standard output. So result std out. We have this output and we have the for the PTY, the true, which means that our connection or command or session didn't face any error. So this is what I wanted to show you. You can reuse this on network devices or other Linux devices. So if you need to script uh, something which requires you to prompt passwords or have an interaction, then this is the way to go about it. So you need to define your watcher function, which is going to be of the responder class and you specify a pattern for which you want a specific answer and basically that's it. See you in the next one. 